Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, so that means market outlook time, FIFA 21, Serie A team of the season style. Of course, we got Serie A team of the season going on this week inside of FIFA 21. We got the upgrade packs, but it was a pretty quiet Sunday yesterday, and I want to talk about why that maybe was, and if that's going to continue throughout the week this week week so hopefully we see some more good content this week sbc wise big names sbcs we hope to see him but of course today we have the brand new air divisi and csl tots squad or maybe squads being released and i'll talk about that as well as talk about the sbc fodder market because since we didn't have a lot of content yesterday some of that stuff dropped off and so did these Serie A tots cards with squad battle rewards and with the weekend league extension is that going to impact the market a little bit this week like today on monday and into the week a little bit i will talk about that as well but first thing is first you guys remember the sbc that came out yesterday it was that immobile card 94 rated and with the upgrade packs right the upgrade packs again are going to be the storyline this week so far because of course you have a chance to pack ronaldo right everybody's going to do their best to try to pack that Ronaldo this week. Now, right now, the, the upgrade packs this week are very interesting. I don't know why EA did this, but for the lower tier upgrade, it is a player pick, which we did call this 80 plus Syria player only player pick, but it requires nine rares, which is very interesting because the Syria, or sorry, the La Liga pack, I think only required like four rares into this SBC. So the fact that this is requiring nine rares is crazy. So right now, if you want to pack blues, I mean, I'm only doing the Syria upgrade because that is purely for packing blues. It's harder to craft this week unless you're doing like bronze pack method, the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade, you know, stuff like that, because you're not going to be getting as much as many players to craft with out of these premium upgrades. Um, but honestly, if you're just looking for blues this week, the Serie A player pick pack is the way to go. I did 10 of them today on my account and I packed Berardi and Quadrado. So you know what? 10 players, I spent maybe like 220,000 coins and I packed Quadrado who's about 200k. So semi-decent value. Got a couple other decent rated fodder cards in the club to maybe craft an SBC that comes out later this week. So just kind of wanted to put that out there. It's it's not the most efficient crafting this week unless you're literally just trying to get blues and that would be the Syria upgrade is really good for that. And these are pretty cracked, right? So people are going to be sending their coins into them. And of course, since Ronaldo is in this team, Lukaku, people want to pack, Kessie, Teo Hernandez, Insignia, all pretty good cards. You know, rares right now, I believe like 1.3, 1.4, maybe even 1.5K because people are interested in doing this and that's going to hopefully bring a little bit of hype to the game this week but we really need the SBC content again with players and stuff to fill out this week and make it be pretty sick because we had only Immobile and these upgrade packs yesterday literally there was not other content there was no icon moments players there were no 85 plus Syria packs released and if that is not going to be coming out this week that's going to make this week feel like it's long, it's going to drag, and it's not going to be as hype. So hopefully, we do get some of that content later on this week. I mean, today on Monday, I think there's potential for an Icon upgrade pack. We had the 92 plus Prime Icon SBC pack code added last week. I think that is a pack that could be coming out today on Monday, and maybe they're going to delay the Icons and put those out today too. Who knows? I'm curious to see what comes out today on Monday for content since they didn't do that much yesterday. Um, on Sunday. So I'm very curious to see what happens there. But again, with the weekend league being extended 24 hours on both consoles right now. So as I'm recording this, we had about one day left to play the rest of your weekend league games. Uh, myself usually stopping at 11 wins. I might even go for 14 this week. Got the extra time, right? So I think that might be a lot of people. I think that might also you know, hinder some of the weekend league sell-off. As you see, a lot of these cards dropping in price. Uh, that might hinder their price drops a little bit and maybe not make them fall all the way so fast. Like usually Sunday nights, you see a big dip in a lot of these cards. Now, a lot of stuff is down. Like this Pushkas uh, is 740,000 coins. He is down. This best is like 400K. That is down. So I'm definitely watching some of these cards. This Vieira was like under 1.6 mil earlier today. He's back to like 1.7. But I'm definitely watching some of these cards and especially the Serie A team of the season cards. Since we had squad battle rewards tonight, these cards have definitely dropped down in price, specifically some of your really rare ones like a Mertens, right? Mertens is 1.03 right now on the, on the market. He was 1.2 million coins, still a very, very rare card. So I'm kind of interested in some of these cards 
that are the high tier ones that have dropped off so much. Same thing with Teo Hernandez. Um, if there really is not that much content until we have the guaranteed SBCs, and especially if people are still playing weekend link today on Monday, you might see these guys, you know, bounce back up a little bit, right? A little bit. Like Insigne was down at 300,000 coins flat. Um, and he's back up to like 315, I believe. I wouldn't expect huge rises though. I really wouldn't expect a huge rise in a lot of these since a lot of that weekend league demand has passed and is over and gone with. But if you're trying to trade with this week, uh, these, these tots, TOTS cards are gonna fluctuate, right? They're gonna move around on the market and so are icons, right? Icons are a place right now where I think that you might be able to get involved with just some daily fluctuation trading. I think that's kind of like the best bang for your buck trading method and trading place at the moment are the icons because they're still fluctuating people are still using them to link all of their different tots cards together from all the different leagues that they have had that we have had over the past couple of weeks now also since the content this week is not that hype or yet is not that hype i think that's going to make people turn towards some of the league one special cards a tall you think about um awar maybe some of these other league one cards that are very popular in the game gold and bape gold neymar who are expected to get team of the season items people are going to start to buy those up as investments because they want things to do on fifa and when there's nothing to do people that like to invest uh, are going to try to make some coins and invest right and you're going to see more of an incentive to do that even though there's player picks that are out People are going to be really more hyped for the next two weeks with uh, the La, sorry League One and Ultimate Team of the Season. So I think that's why you're seeing this movement right here on the market. Now, of course, since we didn't have insane content on Sunday, this is the Index 84 dropped off heavily. 84s were like down at like 6.7, 6.8K at the start of Squad Battle Rewards, and they have shot up since then. I don't know if this is like a leak, somebody investing or anything like that, um, but I do think that this is part of that market rise where people are saying, hey, I don't have too much to do right now in FIFA. We're probably going to get more SBCs during this week. We've seen fodder move a lot in the past couple of weeks, uh, and it's been lowest on the weekend then rising throughout the week. So it makes sense, I guess, to invest in this stuff tonight, but it looks like a lot of people are getting involved in this, so I'd be very careful. Same thing with 86s. You see it drop off basically since Squad Battle Rewards timeframe. So, I mean, if you did a club stock, I don't think you're worried, right? If you club stock some of these 86 rated cards at like 20K, the 85s in like the 12K range and the 84s at 7K, 7.5K, I don't think you're worried, right? I think you're just waiting for more SBCs to come out this week. And hopefully even today, uh, again, we do have a loading screen right now for the um, Air Divisie and CSL, Chinese Super League team of the season coming out today. So these are some of the most, two of the most hyped up secondary league team of the season squads to be released on this game and they're going to be released today now hopefully hopefully ea sports releases two separate teams now i'm not going to sit here today and tell you that it's guaranteed that they do release that i think it's very possible that the way they're doing things this year they might actually combine which is definitely not what we want but they might end up combining for one squad of 11 players between the csl and the air divisi which i do think would be definitely not as hype as before so i think we're hoping that if ea would put out two sides of two sides of 11 we'd have 11 11 and 15 so 37 players in packs is what everybody's hoping for that'd be really cool uh but we'll see what ea has planned today now also with that coming out today on monday i would expect 100 percent for there to be some sort of sbc for a player from one of those two leagues last week with the Liga nos we had the um pk sbc so that is something that we're kind of keeping an eye on and watching now how much is this taglifico because i know a lot of people are eyeing up this left back taglifico card he's right around 100,000 coins people are eyeing this card up because of course the ix links of people thinking that a couple ix tots cards could be coming out air to busy links uh for a card like this i think that taglifico and that paulinho both those cards that i looked up could potentially be invested in a little bit already. They're both rising in price, but it's all going to depend on how hype the cards are from those two secondary leagues that do come out today. Now, again, talking about later on what's going to happen throughout the week this week, on Tuesday, we should we should see the guaranteed. Now, I don't know if they're going to do a combined guaranteed, if they do a combined CSL or um, Air Divisi player, or if they do two separate SBCs. I think that if they make it one squad combining the two leagues it would be a guaranteed of either or because i'm pretty sure the pack code says and let me check this right now this might actually answer my question to myself 
uh, right now. I believe the pack code actually says guaranteed CSL or yes, guaranteed Air Divisi or CSL TOTS player. So that would be the SBC we'd see on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, most likely we would see the guaranteed Serie A pack. Now, I don't know if they're going to do a guaranteed Serie A pack on Tuesday and Wednesday, drop a double guaranteed like they did last week. I still feel like that was some sort of a mistake by EA. I don't know. But I don't know if we're going to see that again this week. I don't think I would count on that. Uh, I guess it's a possibility. If you're somebody who's investing in fodder, then yes, you want it. But uh, that is going to be coming most likely on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week alongside the upgrade packs, maybe that 92 plus prime icon, uh, and then any other player SBCs that we still could get later on this week. So it just feels like another week of team of the season, to be completely honest with you. Of course, Ronaldo is in packs, but I feel like this uh, this this squad has just less hype uh, all around. I know we've been talking about a de that a decent amount on the weekend, and I'm not trying to talk about it even more. But it just it's just that's that's just how it is. That's just how it is with the Serie A, and we're starting to feel it's starting to feel a little bit repetitive, right? We're getting in that repetitive motion where every single week on Tuesday and Wednesday we know it's coming out, we know it's coming out on Sundays, and EA's mixing it up a little bit this week by not dropping as much content. But still, it's starting to feel a little repetitive so hopefully with the csl and the air divisi coming out today that maybe breaks up the the feeling of repetitiveness wow look at how much supply mertens has under 1.05 that's actually pretty crazy so syria actually supplied the market a decent amount with these cards now one tip i'll give you guys if you're trying to trade with any of these cards the rarity is huge rarity is huge for anything on the market right now because that's what's going to make cards fluctuate i mean just one card that i saw that was really rare today was the Sané Foot Birthday version of his card. Now, I know it's Bundesliga was last week. Not a lot of hype for this guy. He was 400K. Where is he right now? Oh, my goodness. Sané is back to 440,000 coins, 438, 433. So, boom, you probably could have caught a snipe from this guy under 400 and now selling him at like 440 to 450. Boom, W right there. So, rare cards on this game are going to be the best things to trade with this week and probably fodder if the SBC content continues to go. People are going to be hitting the player pick packs and you're going to see this stuff go up. Now, let me check some of my gold rares to actually see. Are these down at all after squad battle rewards? No way, man. 1.5K for gold rares. People are hammering these player picks. My, my recommendation would be I would not do too many of these right now because they're going to be more expensive right now than they will be later on the week for sure, 100%. So cool it with the player picks if you want to. Take a couple days off if you really want to, I guess, if you just kind of come on for the guaranteed pack uh, and check out the SBCs every day. I totally understand that, and I totally understand where you might be coming from with that. But if you guys are looking to trade on the market, open bids, out of packs cards, think about like the Fred SBC as well. Some of your Manchester United links like Shaw, Juan Bisaka, a couple of those Man U players, uh, that's, there's going to be some hype around that as well this week as that game is being played. And those SBCs are still out for, I think, a day or so. How much is Wamba Saka right now? He is 414. So if I saw this guy like 400K flat, I would start to get interested. I might even like Luke Shaw a little bit better because he seems to be a little bit more, not necessarily rare, but uh, Luke Shaw, like 170, I think, or something like that. 170,000 coins, 180. Let's see where he's at right now. He is 178K. So just kind of chilling around there but maybe going up a little bit later on this week. The thing is with Syria is that it's hard to link because a lot of the nationalities are varying all over the place. It's not like you have a ton of French nationalities. It's not like you have a ton of, you know, I don't know, like Italian. There's only two Italians in the entire Tot squad, right? Three, Berardi, Donnarumma, and Insigne. That's it, right? There's really not a whole, there's not a lot of uniform. It's not easy to get green links, especially with this nine Golan. You know, you have Mertens, you have Lukaku, and that's kind of it. So unless they drop some big-time player SBCs that are very, very linkable, maybe a Dybala or Juve players, but, you know, Juve just barely uh, scooched into the Champions League spot yesterday after a crazy Super Sunday of football. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what they come out with content-wise this week and where they try to draw the hype. I will say this, though. Every SBC we've had this week, Immobile, um, Nine Golan, and Lozano, They've all been good value. 115K for a Mobile, and then Lozano and Nine Golan are both cheaper in SBC form than they would be on the market. So, in my opinion, that's kind of a W. But 
I think the biggest question that we're left with after yesterday on Sunday and heading into this week is why is EA seemingly taking a step back, right? Because we didn't have icon moments SBCs. We didn't have an icon upgrade pack. We didn't even have like an 85 plus player pick or an 83 plus times five for the Serie A. So EA, why are you taking a step back with Serie A? What's the deal? And I hopefully, hopefully they kind of turn it around this week, but I really wonder if they're kind of letting the game breathe a little bit, just a little bit and pulling it back for this week before hitting it hard next week again for League One and ultimate team of the season, which would be fine with us, I guess. But some people, of course, Serie A fans would not be a huge fan of that part happening in the game they want of course to have the hype stuff going on for their favorite league but that's kind of all that i'm thinking about right now and that's kind of where my thought process is for this game this week now i want to say one thing these Serie A tots cards if we look historically back to last year i'm not going to show you the prices but i've been doing a lot of research earlier this week these cards do not maintain their value they seem very cheap already but if you looked at a lot of the graphs last year lautaro martinez actually i'll pull this one up because we're going to look at it right now because this is a crazy drop off. Lautaro Martinez is 96 rated FIFA 20 TOTS SF card. 1.7 mil, right? It's dropping all week, comes out rewards. He's 1.3 mil, so he drops 400k. And then a huge drop off with the start of League One team of the season the week after that. Just because there's so much hype for League One, probably going to be some big time player SBCs coming out next week for that. I see a lot of the same thing happening with these Serie A TOTS cards. A couple of them might rebound a little bit, like Lukaku, maybe Mertens, some of the more rare ones, maybe Teo Hernandez being an endgame left back with the French links, maybe even Quadrado being a very usable, the best Serie A right back in the game, unless we get an SBC this week for a better card. Um, you know, these cards are probably not going to rebound that much, and they're only going to drop lower. Even a guy like Ronaldo, right? We have this guy's going to be back in Ultimate TOTS in two weeks. He, people are going to know that, right? And then what you're going to have next week too with League One is people starting to sell some TOTS cards from older teams. So Bundesliga, Premier League, La Liga, they're going to start to sell some of the cards that they think could be an ultimate TOTS, maybe a De Young, maybe a Varane, maybe a Messi. They're going to start to sell those off and you're, see, you're going to see those prices drop off maybe next week heading into ultimate TOTS as people are fearing those prices dropping. So if you have any of these TOTS cards from older teams, tradable in your squad i would honestly if they're gonna get into ultimate i'd be careful with them and maybe even look to get them out uh on this weekend if they do rise up a little bit at all um because a lot of these guys are going to enter back into packs and of course more supply means more dropping prices on this market so that's kind of what's going on this week in fifa man honestly it's just another week of team of the season um and i'm curious to see if ea picks it up at all after a slower day on sunday Hopefully the Air Divisie and the CSL hype squads are hyped today because that could bring some extra boost to the game as well. Uh, the only problem is we don't have a really a good way to pack them. Last week, a lot of us packed the Liga NOS players because we had the 81 plus player pick. You do have the 81 plus upgrade pack that is out, the 81 plus double. Um, but you know what? The packs aren't it this year. It's, it's all about the picks, right? The picks are what are OP. So I don't know if you guys are doing any of these, but I'm sure they're just kind of okay and as per normal, not as hyped as the player picks like these Serie A upgrades are going to be. But that's kind of the market outlook uh, for this week, my dudes. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.